Hello, my name is Eric, a member of the support team here at Prototech. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the enhancements made to OptiRough in Mastercam 2025. I'm going to create an OptiRough toolpath on this part. I'll select the entire model. I'll select boundaries representing the extents of the stock. Notice we now get color coding on these to quickly identify what has been selected. I'll select my tool. I'll set some cut parameters. We now also get graphical plane representation on all of our high speed 3D and 2D toolpaths that have the tree style interface. I'll select my maximum depth to just a little bit past the bottom of the part and I'll generate the toolpath. I'm going to take a look at this from the front view. Now I have some issues. I'm hitting my fixture in. But this also sometimes occurs. OptiRough traditionally has tried to make your max depth cuts to utilize the full fluid of your tool. This can sometimes result in small depth cuts at the end of the toolpath. I could do some adjusting to the depth cuts to try to get rid of this, but we have a new option in Mastercam 2025. On the cut parameters page, I can turn on uniform step downs. This makes the depth cuts behave more like other tool paths like depth cuts in contour. If I need three depth cuts, instead of doing two large depth cuts and then one small one, it will divide the depth cuts out evenly. This means I may not be cutting at the max depth cut any longer, but it easily gets rid of that small cut at the bottom. Let's also deal with the fixturing. There is another new option in Mastercam 2025. If I have my fixturing set up, this has traditionally just been used in simulation. I can now use it to select that geometry in some tool pass, including OptiRough. So right here, I have a new section work holding geometry. I can hit the select button. Notice it's the same interface I just saw in my job setup. This basically works the same as avoidance geometry. And in OptiRough, avoidance geometry essentially works the same as machining. My tool pass do not cut over the top of the jaws due to my boundary being set as inside the jaws. I can see that my paths now avoid the jaws. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be sure to catch our videos as soon as they're posted, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.